my girl Manisha received a Facebook message from Bree. Bree is saying that me and her was in a relationship and me and her had sex and we didn't. The only thing I did with Bree was confide in her about my relationship with my girlfriend. The Facebook message stated that she was pregnant by me and that's, that was not true. Bree, Bree is a liar. She's crazy and she's trying to put me in a situation now that I don't want to be in. Ever since then, it's been like crazy. Like, Manisha, they've been conversing back and forth with each other. Like, Bree found the button to push. At first, Bree asked me about a relationship and I asked her, why did she want to be in a relationship with me? She's like, uh, because I see that you're a good father. I like how you are with your kids and all this. So it's like, after that came out, I just, it, it's, you want what she has, what, what my girl have right now and you can't get it. I want to re rebuild the trust with Manisha and um, get my family back on track the way we used to be. I'm tired of Bree stalking me and my family. Steve, the reason why I'm here today is because me and Alonzo have been talking and we were dating and I recently just told his girlfriend of 15 years that I am pregnant. And are you pregnant? Steve, I am pregnant. You are pregnant? I am. Yeah. Me and Alonzo have been talking for over a year now. He said yeah. that he was single, he wasn't in a relationship. Uh, and, and then when did you develop an intimate relationship? In December was the first time that we had and, sex together. And during this whole time, he never mentions that he has a girlfriend? Nope, he just mentioned that he had a baby mama that he's not with because she's nagging and she's crazy and he doesn't want to be with her. He's only there just for the kids. Right. Um, and, and you're here today, why? I'm here today because I want the truth to be told, that he is a dog and he is a liar and that we have been together. He was staying at my house. There was a situation with them. He, she put him out in January and he came to come stay at my house and we were having unprotected sex and he had, he had been there and then he just left and disappeared. So you're mad that he went back to her? I was mad, yes. Um, my feelings were very hurt. So she puts him out, he's staying with you. He's staying How long with me. did he stay with you? He was you? there for about two or three days before he left and he said that he was going to a relative's house and he cut off all communication. And those three days that he was with you, how many yes. times do you have sex? Twice. Okay. Um, and uh, then you reached out to Manisha, right? Yes, I did. Why? I reached out to Manisha because he completely just cut me off. My feelings were hurt. Um, I had reached out to one of my relatives and I had told her to tell Alonzo that I was pregnant. Um, he then returned my, he, re he then returned a phone call straight to me afterwards and he was happy. He told me to come pick him up. I brought him back to my house and we had sex again. And then he left and said that he was going back over to his sister's house. After that, he cut off all communication. He blocked me from his phone. He blocked me from his Facebook. I ended up sending him a text message and I said, you need to call me right now. Otherwise I have something for you and he never returned my phone call. And I went on Facebook under his page and found um, his baby mom and I sent her a message and I said, are you and Alonzo really together? And she never responded. And then I sent her a message that I knew would get her attention. And I said, you know, I'm pregnant by him. She called me right away. She wanted to know like who I was and how long this had been going on for. And I had told her me and him had been talking for about a year on Facebook. We, he's been at my house since you put him out and that I'm pregnant by him. Um, Steve, I must be honest with you, I'm, I'm really not pregnant. That ultrasound picture is from a previous pregnancy. I just said that to hurt her feelings and to get her attention because I was really hurt at everything that was going on and that he had left me. But why are you, li but why are you lying to me? <laughs> I just didn't want to I'm not going to get jealous. Anything. I know. <laughs> so why are you doing this? I mean, like, I just I'm, wanted, I wanted to sure hurt her get, feelings and I, wanted, and I wanted to get back at him. Know. I thought it was going to get him back to me. But I was just hurt that he had just ran off and left me and blocked all my phone calls and text messages and he was denying even knowing me. So I just felt like I had to say something to her to... Yeah, but she didn't hurt you. No, she didn't hurt me. He was like, Bree, you knew that he was in a relationship. He's just a dog. It don't matter. Like, you he, he kept you telling, no, I'm not. Record. No, I'm not. You he kept telling me that y'all were together. I knew you were lying. I knew you was a liar. Okay. You 
I don't want that. Years old, I don't want that. With a man Trust me. Years I don't want that. And he loved every bit no, of it too, baby. Best no, believe he it. Didn't. I'm not. Okay, I got back at him. My feelings was hurt. So what? I got back at him. My feelings was hurt. But guess what? It's not to try and cover another woman's man. Okay. Is this the first time? Have you ever cheated on you? No. No. Yeah. So you've been through this before. No. This is actually the second time. The third time. time. And how is he as a, a dad? He's a great father to his children. Yeah. He's and a great father. You threw him out in January? Yeah, because um, one night he was going to a lounge and he told me to go see my man. That's what started all of this. He That's said for you to go see. He your told man? me to go see my man while you he was going out to. Why he was going out to a lounge. No, he is my man. So I waited till he went out to the lounge. I waited till about one o'clock and I went over to that lounge and I, I sat back and I watched what was going on. I didn't see anything suspicious, but um, after they were closing or whatever, um, he went and got in the car with another person. I was sitting over across the street in the Taco Bell parking lot and he recognized the car. So he got out of the car with the girl he was in the car with and he got in the car with me. As we were driving home, he just sparked up this whole argument. You know, you're, you're stalking me, you're doing this, you're doing that, you know. You ain't never slept with me? When? You ain't sleep with me in my house? All them times that you came to Come my on, house? Man, you called them my times girl. that I, I did, I reached out to her. You talking you pregnant, I did. you did I this. reached out to her. I reached out to her. Reached out to what? We talking about we had sex all these many times. We have, we have it. How many, how many times we did something? How many times have we? You told you told her once. Come on, man. More than twice. Look, how many man, times look, have look, you been at my house, Lando? Okay, but guess what? what? I got something for you, baby. But I got something for you, baby. I'm not even sure. pregnant, though. I ain't even pregnant, though. I just got you, though. It don't even matter, baby. You think you're gonna get your pregnant either, too, baby? No, it don't even matter. Bree yeah. took a lie detector test. Sure did. Mm. We asked her, are you fabricating the story about your pregnancy? You said yes. You confessed. <laughs> are you currently pregnant? You told us no. You confessed that you're not pregnant. <clears throat> Have you ever had sexual contact with Alonzo? She said yes. Have you ever had sexual intercourse with Alonzo? She said yes. And the results came back the same to both of those questions. They came back that she told the truth. Boy. A fresh Boy. Talk to him. I'm glad you got what you ever came here she for. She accomplished Thank it. You. Thank you what for she telling the truth. You're she welcome. came here to blow you up. That's all she did. I wanted to do. What she blow it up? Nothing. Because she That's got her right. feeling. She said you might be showing up at her door on Monday. Yeah, Guess what? He ain't getting put out Monday. so that you know. Oh. He, he ain't getting put out oh. on Monday. So what the You'll be up? knocking when you go to work, baby. You ain't got to put no, him no, out. Well, no, no, Thanks for being on the show. Thank you. Bye, Marie. So you came here and you took a lie detector test and we asked you, have you ever had sexual intercourse with Bree? No. You did not tell the truth. <laughs> Good. Excluding Bree, take Bree out of the equation. Mm -hmm. Right. In the past five years, while in a relationship with you, <laughs> had you had sexual contact with any other woman besides Manisha? He said no. What do you think? He failed. Yep. He did not tell the truth. Excluding Bree, in the past five years, while in a relationship, have you had, sexual, you had sexual intercourse with any other woman besides Benicia? Of course. He failed. He did not tell the truth. <laughs> okay. Okay. What I tell okay. you, and I'm okay. gonna send them all back to your inbox too. That ain't This is ones. what I don't understand. You just started applauding. You said <laughs> she was the one woman in the audience that said, don't read the results, don't read it. Now he fails. You're like, yeah! <laughs> Come on now. Uh, the test determined in the past five years, Alonzo has had sex between three to five different women. And you want to be with her? Yeah, fix ain't here, bro. Yeah. Like no, that's a long years. time. Yeah. That's a long time. But don't, don't you deserve better? I deserve better. Yeah, what are you going to do? <laughs> what I'm going to do? You know what? We haven't done it a lot this season. It's pig door time. This is your man. This is your life. I don't believe, I think Alonzo's a player. And he's a guy that can't say no to woman. This is this how we're going to end the show. Are you taking Alonzo's hand and walking out the door and giving him 15 more years? Are you saying, you know what, this guy been cheating and he can't stop cheating, I'm going it alone. We're going to walk together. <laughs>
I believe my ex-girlfriend lied to me about she, she was pregnant with my twins. I, I start asking her for pictures and whatnot because to, to, I want to see her belly. She said her camera was broken. I asked her sonograms. She said they blew away in the wind. She, after a while, she sent me a picture of her belly. She said she had a girdle on. The belly looked fake. She gave me no evidence that she was pregnant. I asked to buy some baby's clothes and she told me that, that she had everything, that her parents already bought her everything, when in reality, none of her family ever knew she was pregnant. A couple weeks before her baby shower, I get a call from one of her family members. She says uh, Tanz just got in a bad car accident. She got hit by a drunk driver and lost both, his, both the kids. She, she sent me pictures of two twins. She said it was mine. The babies in the pictures looked look like they were live babies, and they told me that they were both stillborn. Who takes pictures of dead babies? A couple months later, my sister is, is doing a research project. She's looking on the internet, and she comes across the picture that my ex-girlfriend actually sent me. I call the website, and they say, I, I know the mother and father of these two kids. These are definitely not your kids. She, she changed it up and says she, she got an abortion. Why are you here, Tansy? Because I want my man back, and I'm tired of his family interfering with our relationship. And he was charged with what, the driver? Yes, he was charged, first, first of all, he was drunk driving, charged with that. Um, I never went to, in, went to any of his hearings or anything, so, I mean. The, the man is responsible for the death of your two babies? Yes. And you weren't interested in going to any of the hearings? I don't even live in that same state anymore. Why, why'd you say uh, you miscarried one of them and then you got an abortion? Because, Tyrell, all, you guys were coming to me with everything all at once. I did not know what to do. I didn't know what to say. Why can't I didn't you just know tell the truth? The truth? I told Why the truth. Tell the truth? It's a shame how you can make such a sick story in your head. I got tattoos of those babies' names on my skin. I have to take that to the grave with me. I'm not lying about you anything, You are lying. Kenny. You I'm are lying. I'm not lying about You're anything, You're going to sit out here Kenny. lying in front of all these people? I'm not lying in front of anybody, Kenny. You should be ashamed of yourself. Just explain to me how this story where two children were killed in a drunk driving accident, where this is public knowledge, when people go to jail, you cannot suppress this from the public, it's, it's impossible. How is there not one news story about this incident? Were you ever pregnant with twins? You answered yes. Did you ever get in a car accident that caused you to deliver stillborn twins? You answered yes. Did you send Tyrell a picture you found off the internet and claim they you were stillborn twins. You answered no. Did you fabricate that you were pregnant to try and keep Tyrell around? You answered no. She did not tell the truth. I believe that you're going through some pain and there's some something going on inside there. I truly believe that. And you might need some help to continue to live this lie. It's not going to do you any good. It's not going to do them any good, but it's not going to do you any good. It's been two weeks, and we reached out to Tansy numerous times. We called her seven times and texted her 15 times. We offered our help in obtaining any documentation to prove her story. In the end, she stopped responding to us and never provided anything. In addition, we continued to do our own research, and we were unable to find any shred of proof backing up her story. If Tansy wants to call us, our offer to help still stands, but we won't be calling her anymore. Me and my wife, we've been together for five years, and in these five years, we didn't have three miscarriages. So I believe that she had a miscarriage on purpose. I, I think that she's just having these kids were getting pregnant to keep me around because she know that I really want a kid. After the third miscarriage, I felt as though she didn't want any kids. I felt as though that she was drinking and smoking on purpose to not have no children. And Just two weeks ago, she found out she was pregnant again. And hopefully, this time, she go all the way through with it. I'm here today to tell him a secret. And it's that I've never been pregnant. Why would you lie about this? It was like real, kind of like Rocky in the beginning, because like he started talking about wanting a kid and he wanted to have a baby really bad. So one day I thought, I'm like, okay, well, if I tell him I'm pregnant, then maybe he'll be happy, which it did excite him and he was really excited and wanted to like, he, me and him grew closer from me telling him I was pregnant. So 
I felt like if I kept telling him, like after I miscarried and miscarried, that we will be stronger. But like I started feeling bad about it. So like, like it, I wanted to tell him, but like I knew I couldn't tell him by myself because I don't know what the outcome might be. Hey man, this pregnancy man, you better not be drinking or smoking, man. I never been pregnant. You've never been pregnant? What? So all these miscarriages, those are lies. I mean, if you can lie about kids, then what else is you lying about? All right, man, that's too much, man. I'm, I'm, I'm good. She made up this lie to make you happy. So I'm not saying your whole marriage is a sham or a lie, it's not. I think she made an incredibly bad mistake uh, telling you that she was pregnant. But you have to know the sense of where the lie came from. And the lie came from to make you happy, and then it turned into a vicious cycle. If you believe that I will leave you because you can't have kids, <laughs> then you obviously don't think that I love you. Come on, man. Um. <laughs> Welcome to the show. My guest is Chris. Chris, you called the show, why are you here? I'm here today because um, my compulsive liar of an ex-girlfriend claims that I have a son. Um, I've asked her for proof of it. She hasn't given me any proof, but she told me like two different due dates. First it was March 30th, then it was April 1st. And she didn't call me to let me know that it, she was at the hospital with, to have the baby. She didn't, she couldn't tell me which hospital it was at. I've called around and asked all the hospitals around where she said that it was at. Um, they said that... What do you think she's lying about? About the baby. You think she didn't have a baby? No. Did you see her pregnant at some point? Um, when, she was, when she was a month pregnant, I went to the doctors with her. They said that she was pregnant. And then two weeks later, we were going to another appointment. Um, we pulled up to the doctor's office. She, she didn't get out. She kept making excuses and why she didn't want to get out. So then we, we ended up leaving. And then when she was five months pregnant, she disappeared. She just up and took off? Yeah, she didn't tell me where she went. And she, she called me, but she wouldn't like come see me. When she told you she was pregnant, were you excited? Were you happy? I was excited. And so you're thinking, oh, great, I'm going to be a father. And then she takes off. After five months, she disappears, she's calling you. What are you saying to her? I'm asking her where the baby is because I want to see the baby because it's my, it would be my firstborn. And did you plan this baby? Yeah. OK, so you planned it. So now she's gone. Eventually, nine months pass by. She says, she calls you up and says what? And she asked me if I want to see my son. I say, yeah. And she says, OK, well, I'll bring him down to you. She never brought him down to me. She always made excuses on wh why she didn't make it. She always told me whether either she got lost or she had an emergency. Um, and then she would tell me that the baby got kidnapped. The it, baby got kidnapped? Yeah. By who? She said by her family. How did they get your baby? I left him with him because he was sick. He was, he was sick and I left him there and he knows that. And your family member took your child and wouldn't give it back? We don't know what happened. I called the police. I filed a police report. Chris? How did he, you get your baby back? He refused to How go How did with you me. get your baby back? How did I get the baby back? Yeah. They found a baby up in Oak Harbor where the baby was allegedly at, and they thought it was my son. So they told me he was dead. And then how did they find your son? They found him up in Seattle when my my trusted friend went to Seattle with him. I thought it was a family member that stole the baby. It was a family member. And she gave it to her, this family member she, gave it to her friend? She goes in between Seattle and... No, I'm saying this family member gave the baby to the trusted friend. No. We asked you to bring the baby to the show, right? He is sick. Okay, so you couldn't bring the baby? Yeah, we he asked... has to stay in the hospital. Okay, we asked you to bring a birth certificate, right? 
I wasn't able to get a birth certificate because at the time frame that I had to file for a birth certificate, the child was kidnapped. And then when the child was kidnapped, because, they kidnapped the birth certificate too. Because of CPS, because it's very thorough kidnappers. Because of CPS getting involved, I wasn't able to do anything, which is where he got. We asked the you to bring a, a picture of your baby. I haven't been able to get a picture. You guys called me one day. You're a mother. And you don't have a picture of your son? I'm going to take a picture of your son in the hospital. Is there a baby? Tell me the yes. truth. Yes. There is a baby. Yes. Is it your baby? Yes, it's mine and his. You gave birth he to a boy. He was around me for more than five I'm asking months. you a simple question. You gave birth to a baby boy. Yes. And what's his birthday? A April 1st. April 1st. And how much did he weigh when he was born? Seven pounds, six ounces, 21 inches long. And at what hospital? Up in the hospital up by Gig Harbor, the Gig Harbor Hospital. I don't remember the name. I was out of it. I was way out of it. You don't remember? I passed out. You don't remember the name of the hospital where you delivered your child? No, I don't. Do you know the hospital, the name of the hospital that your child's in now? Yes. What's it called? The Seattle Children's Hospital. Seattle Children's. So if we called up there right now, we'd be able to say Damien Lee. Yep. Whatever your last name is, and they would say yes. If yeah. they'll authorize you to get the information. And when's the last time you saw your baby? Um, about two days prior to us coming here. I went Where'd you see your baby real at? quick to the hospital. You went real quick? Yeah. And how because they said they needed to talk to me because it was possible that he could die. From what? From the jaundice that he has. He's got jaundice. Yeah. And how long has he had jaundice? He had it when he was younger. He had it for the first two weeks. Younger than what? You went when with the he first was two weeks? A month old. A month old. Okay. And how old is he now? He's was born August 1st, so he's about six, seven months old. August 1st? Yeah. I thought it was April 1st. Look the man in the eye and tell him the truth about the baby. I did tell him the truth about the baby. Tell him the truth right now. And I'll rip this up if you tell him the truth. I want Rich out here. Who's rich? My boyfriend. Well, is it? I'm not, I'm not going to do anything until he's out here. Oh. Bring Rich out. <laughs> How you doing, Rich? Doing all right. This is your girlfriend? Yes. OK. You hear this story. What's your opinion on this story? I've told her myself that I think she's lying. You told her yourself you think she's lying. And, and how long, how long have you been dating? Hold on, hold on, hold on. No, hold he on. wasn't. How long? You don't even know him. How long have you been dating? Three months. OK. Have you ever seen 2009 Silverado? No. What about a boy? Have you seen a baby boy? No. OK. You've been dating this man for three months. You, you're, you're together, and in three months, he's never seen your baby boy? Yeah, do you know my whole story? My background? Do you know what we're going through right now? No, I don't. But that has nothing to do with what we're talking about right now. I'm going to read the I'll results. I'll say right now. <laughs> okay. All right, say it. Can you give me? I told him right there. Yes what? or no? Does, does, he, he, does, does he, he want me to tell him? That's I lied. why we're here. OK, you know what? We're done playing games. OK. Thank you. The results I'll do this. You don't have a son, and I lied. Why would you lie about something like that? That's something you shouldn't lie about. I didn't. But you know what? Yeah. OK, you know what? I, are you OK with dating this person? No. I'm asking you. Are you OK dating somebody like this? Yes. Really? Or you might be in the same situation going nine months looking for a kid. No, because he won't do to me what he did. He supports me. You know me. what? I'm done with you. I'm done with you. Yeah. And I'll say, you know, I, we, we all know you're lying. Everybody knows you're lying. He knows you're lying. He knows it. She knows it. I know it. They all know it. Do you have a child fathered by Chris? You answered yes.
Did you give birth to a child fathered by Chris in the last year? You answered yes. Did you make up a story about having Chris's baby? You answered no. Did you make up a story about having a child with Chris to get him back? And you answered no. And oh my God, I'm shocked. I'm shocked. She did not tell the truth. I'll tell you what. You bring your baby and prove that it's your baby, I'll give you two million bucks. I say this, it is pathetic that you would lie about a child to a man. And you want to run? You are a despicable human shut being. Shut up! You shut up. You lie and you keep a man wondering whether he has a child for nine months? Are you kidding me? And you hold it over his head and you keep lying, lying to the very end. Go run. And if you're okay with being with somebody like that, then I'm ashamed of you too. You didn't even need the lie detector results. There's no baby. But the good thing is you're going to be a father. You're going to have a real baby, have a real relationship, be a really good dad. OK? A couple months ago, I told Phil that I was pregnant with this baby. I was vomiting all the time, couldn't eat anything. I was bloated, and I felt kicking and movement in my stomach. I was hormonal and moody. I would look in the mirror and see how fat I was, and, and I knew I was pregnant. All the stress caused a miscarriage. I was bleeding, and three weeks later, I went to the hospital. They said that there was no sign of a miscarriage, and there was no sign of a pregnancy. When they told me this, I started crying. It's very upsetting. Phil was with me at the ER when they told me he was upset, but at the same time, he didn't believe me when I said that I was pregnant. It really hurt. The next month, I had missed my menstrual cycle and I had thought I was pregnant again. I took 10 pregnancy tests right in front of Philip, and they all said negative. I was very vulnerable and this guy texted me telling me how he couldn't see me with another guy and I had consensual sex with him and I regret it. I told Philip that I was raped because I was embarrassed and disappointed in myself. The way Philip found out is he had gone through my phone and seen messages between me and that person. I messed up by telling Philip that I was raped, but I am not lying about being pregnant. I have never faked a pregnancy in my life. I love Philip very much. We've talked about a future together, having kids together. I think he's cheating because he told me that he did. And he's told me in the past he's wanted other people and that I wasn't good enough for him. He says he couldn't remember when he cheated. He doesn't know if it, we were together or apart. If I fail, I'm really gonna be disappointed because I know I didn't do anything. But when I pass, I'm gonna be grateful that this is gonna end. Were you excited when she told you she was gonna, you were gonna be a dad? Yes, I was excited, but I was also nervous and I didn't know what to do. I don't have any kids with anyone else and I was looking forward to having a daughter. This would have been your first child? Mm-hmm. She said she felt kicking in her stomach after less than two months of pregnancy. Yes, she did. Uh, she told me about the, the butterflies, the kick in, the pain underneath her rib cage. She was vomiting. For two months. I saw her getting sick all the time. I was well, there yeah, firsthand, but, but yeah, it was kind of soon. Yeah, but I mean, I can understand nausea, but you know, kicking at two months, I don't think so. Why did you guys go to the ER? Now, I noticed, I checked in with her one day. She was in the bathroom. She, she was bleeding. I saw blood, and I asked her for how long it was going on for. So, which could have been a menstrual cycle. It was going on for a few weeks, so it was much longer than a typical one, and it was 
much more than so normal. So you said, hey, we, did, was it your idea to go to the emergency room? I was concerned about her safety. So we're there for about 10 hours. They do an ultrasound on her. 10 hours? I was going back and forth. I kept on looking at her. She, was, she fell asleep for a while. I'm restless. I'm wondering what's going on. I'm thinking, okay, maybe she's having a miscarriage, maybe something. I don't know what it is. So they do an ultrasound of her pelvic region. They do one of her stomach. We wait for a few hours for the results. They come back. They tell me, hey, there's no signs of anything that they can't tell that she was pregnant at all. So they basically said there was no baby. Mm-mm. Yeah. Because if she felt kicking and stuff, there'd be some signs of a baby being in there. There would. And little, little legs. <laughs> we, <laughs> we did a, a lot of pregnancy tests together as well. And yeah, she said she took 10. I've, it was over 12. It doesn't why, always well, pop why keep taking it? Just in case there was a false negative. Yeah, but after wanted, three. She had uh, issues where we thought she was pregnant more than once. She... Was she just a liar? She was a liar, and that's what caused me... Are you still with her? Yes, I am. Why, oh, and so she cheats on you, right? And she lies that she was raped. That's a big one there. She made me believe that, hey, um, I was raped, or I mean her, that she went through all this abuse, that all these bad things happened to her, that she was a victim. So I she just... wanted to make it out like she was raped, but she didn't consensually have sex with this person. She told me over a dozen times in two months. She told me time after time, and it came up casually one day. It's like, oh, this happened to you. And I'm like, all right. I'm, I'm shocked. I'm like, why don't we go? We'll go to the police station. We'll file a report. Yeah. Get this dude in trouble. How did you find out it was a lie? I had to go through her phone. Her and I have that relationship where we have each other's passwords and that level of trust. And she... You know what? Me and my wife had that too. Like, she knows my password. I know hers. I never go through her phone. I felt it in my gut. Okay. I had something that told me. She's acting weird. She was keeping her phone underneath her pillow. <laughs> it just, she was moody, the way she was flipping out on me. So you read through these texts, uh, and, and it was very consensual. It was three days yeah. before she came back to me. And yeah, the dude told, uh, she told the dude to come over and me. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Do you think that she seeks a, a lot of attention? She's an attention seeker? Yes, she is. Yeah. She plays the victim all the time. I'm hoping to find out the truth. <laughs> I, uh, I'm, I'm... <laughs> I mean, listen, I'm you... not trying to break you up, but everything from this point on, oh, honey, I'm pregnant. Really? Like, you I don't mean, want that to be the reaction when your wife be... okay. tells you, you know, uh, uh, like, I can't imagine my wife like, honey, I'm pregnant. Really? Mm. Are you <laughs> me? Everything she tells you, you'd have to look at it like, come on. It pushed you... me away further. It did. So the big I, question is, did you fake that pregnancy? No, I didn't. But you, you were telling him that you felt feet, little feet, baby feet, stopping you I in the ribs. I felt something move in my stomach is what I said. But did you feel kicking? Did you say you felt <laughs> I kicking? I did not say that. What did you say exactly? I said I felt something move in my stomach. And yeah. when I called the hospital... Could have been a whopper? What about the butterflies <laughs> in the feline? What about the butterflies? <laughs> when I... <t> <laughs> I thought I, was having, I thought I was having a daughter. So he's, he's taking it like he's talking to an expert. You're a mother of three. Something moved. He's taking it like you felt a baby move. And that's what you were implying, right? That's not what I was implying. What, what were you, you implying? Were. What I told him. What were you implying? I was implying that something moved. You like felt what? Like pregnant. You told me you had morning sickness. You were throwing up every morning. Exactly, I you was. You had the cramp and the pain underneath your So you your definitely ribs. were paining you had a baby as you were stomach. pregnant. And you told them you were pregnant. Yeah. What about looking in the mirror, huh? You were looking in there all the time, looking at your bump. Exactly. You gained 15 pounds in like two weeks and you're not eating any more than normal. So in your heart, you truly believed you were pregnant? Yes. At no time were you faking it? No. So when you go in the hospital, they run a million tests and they don't find anything, you were like what? I was upset about it, very surprised. What were you upset about? I was upset that I wasn't, because I want a future with him. I want to have kids with him. I want to be with him for the rest of my Why'd life. Why'd you lie about being raped? I was vulnerable. Mm -hmm. I was disappointed in myself and very embarrassed that I went back to somebody that treated me like crap. But you do understand, like, 
I to know, me, it's... there's like murder, like the worst thing you do. And then probably rape is right below I murder. I know. You think I wouldn't trust you? I know you don't trust you, me. No, you think I wouldn't trust you? That I, you. Oh, wait, wait. You couldn't You're just saying tell you me. Know you know couldn't. He doesn't oh. trust you? Yeah. Why do you stay with him? Because I love him. Yeah, and... but what, don't you want to be with somebody that trusts you? No you know, one's I... ever treated me like he does. He treats you good. Exactly. So why lie to him? I would have understood. My entire family would lie to me, and it's just something that comes natural, and I don't do like that me? I do it. What does that have to do with me, though? I hate that I do it to you. Her? Yes. And we asked her, while in a relationship with Philip, have you engaged in any sexual intercourse with any other man? She answered no. While in a relationship with Philip, have you engaged in any physical sexual contact with any other man besides Philip? She answered no. The results of those two questions came back the same, and it came back that Jasmine told the truth. I told you. I told you. I told you that I didn't. So she actually started it about two hours ago. I told you that I didn't. I'm sorry. <laughs> Philip took a lie detector to test. Mm -hmm. And he confessed to sexual intercourse with the one woman, mm -hmm. oral sex with another, and kissing another in a bar. Mm -hmm. So. He kind of slid down the ladder. Intercourse, I... <laughs> all sex, kissing. But then we went on to test him. While in a relationship with Jasmine, other than the one woman, have you engaged in sexual intercourse with any other woman? He answered no. While in a relationship with Jasmine, other than the three women, have you engaged in any physical sexual contact with any other woman? He answered no. The results of those two questions came back the same. And it came back that Philip told the truth. Yeah, there's no. Okay. Yeah, you know, those two people okay. that you fought, those no? Mm -mm. Okay. No. Mm -mm. It's your classic love story, folks. <laughs> <laughs> but this one, this is the main one. Oh, my. All right, Jasmine, you took a lie detector test whether you faked the pregnancy. We asked you, while in a relationship with Philip, did you knowingly lie about being pregnant? And you answered yes. Oh. While in a relationship with Philip, did you know that you were not pregnant and claim you were claim that you were in order to keep Philip around? She answered yes. Oh. Where was all the blood from? Did you fabricate and lead Philip on that you were pregnant from, yeah. when you were not to keep him with you? Yeah. And she answered yes. Yeah, she, you, you played me. You wanted me to stay around. You thought I wouldn't have stayed around for just you. You told you. me that you were going to leave me. I wanted you. You told me you were going to leave me if you found out I was pregnant. What? He was going to leave you if you were pregnant? So you told them? I know. Yeah, it doesn't she's, make any sense. She's self-sabotaging. I told her I wasn't ready, and I didn't want that right now. And So why did you tell them you were pregnant? She wanted to... No, hold on. I want to hear from her. Why did you tell them you were pregnant? Because at the time, I thought I was, and I want a future with him. No, but you just admitted you knew you weren't pregnant. She took pregnancy tests. They Stop. She's a big girl. Answer the question. It says here, you knew you weren't pregnant, but you told them you were. The first time I Why did you do that? Oh, you're so <sighs> you can't even answer now. She played me. Okay. <laughs> Knowing that she's, uh, uh, she's a born liar, mm -hmm. her own words, not mine. She is. She comes from a family of liars. You're going, to, if you stay in this relationship, you are going to be with a liar. No. Do you want to stay in this relationship? Yes, I do. How, do you, how do you stay in it, though? How do you make it work? Be more honest. Be, Be more honest, honest. I could beg on. you for honesty. You say you're not going to lie anymore. Yes. You right. said that before. I'm going to ask you to leave the stage. 
with people today, if people, you know, oh, I, I was raped, I didn't rape, it, it really demeans actual victims that people have a hard time coming forward saying this. Um, but anyways, you don't even have to say anything. You say, you walk out those stairs, she's back there waiting for you, you give her another chance, maybe she becomes a truthful person, or you say, hey man, I'm a young guy, I got my whole life ahead of you, I'm gonna try something different, and you go out that door. <laughs> and you don't have to say anything, nothing. I've heard some crazy stories over the years, but one topic that keeps me scratching my head is when women fake being pregnant. Just like in Fred's story. In 2016, he appeared on my show because he believed his ex, DJ, faked the pregnancy and lied about having a miscarriage in order to cover it up. Watch this. My ex-boyfriend, Fred, is trying to say that I wasn't pregnant. His friends and his family convinced him and that I was just lying to him, and he seems to believe that I faked the whole pregnancy. Fred and I have been friends forever, and two years ago we decided to be in a solid relationship. A lot of his friends were trying to sabotage our relationship because they didn't like us together. I found out I was pregnant after we had been together for a few months. When I told him, like, he was excited. It would have been his first boy. We had stuff planned, like we moved to a bigger house, we had gotten a car seat, we had gotten some clothes, like we had a name, but I had a lot of problems while I was pregnant. And then I was six and a half months pregnant and I lost the baby. And after that, like the night that it happened, we had actually got into an argument and I had left. And then I had tried to call him several times, he wouldn't answer my phone calls. When the doctor told me I was miscarrying, like all I wanted him to do was pick up his phone. So then I ended up telling him in a text message. Somebody had heard me talking to one of my friends. That person went to him before I did and said that I didn't miscarry, that I wasn't pregnant, that I was just lying to him. And then after that, our relationship kind of went downhill. Three months ago, I moved out. I haven't even had time to grieve this miscarriage. I lost a baby, I had to go through it all, and I had to do it all by myself because he was mad and wouldn't answer his phone. So when did you start to become suspicious that uh, maybe there's not a child involved here? When she was around about four months pregnant and I've never, I didn't see any. She Change. was getting big, but she wasn't getting baby big. She, was and not, she wasn't getting a baby bump. A pregnant, pregnancy bump. Yeah, so she tells me that the baby's sitting low. I don't know, I don't know nothing about what doctors say. I'm like, okay, well, the baby's sitting low. Oh, well, and then we get into it. Um, she left. She left. She left that night, and she, like she said, she calls me. I don't want to argue with you. I don't want to argue with you. So, talk to you in the morning. She leaves me a message, says something went wrong. I was like, I'm like, okay, I'll get to talk, trying to call her back. She never answers my phone call. So when she finally come home a day or two later, I'm out having a barbecue with friends and family, and she comes, she comes in the backyard. She's playing soccer in the backyard with her nieces and nephews. This is after she's supposed to have lost the baby after did seven. She, did she tell you at this point that, that she lost the baby? No, until later on that night. And what she, did she say to you? She asked, I mean, I asked, I said, well, you told me you was gonna tell me what's wrong. Well, you don't see no difference? No, I don't see no difference. Well, I lost the baby. A friend of hers actually told you that the pregnancy was a hoax. Her best friend tells me that, I mean, they get into it, her best friend tells me, well, DJ got her tubes tied. She, she couldn't have got pregnant. Why are you here? Because the relationship is over, The right? relationship is over. I just want to know the truth. Can I please get the don't truth? Turn. Please, You're, This is please. stupid. What you mean this is stupid? I mean, you... What you mean? Because you said no matter what, even if you're gonna get proof, you're not gonna believe it. You, you, what you said mean, that I'm last not night. No, I didn't. Yes, you no, did. I did. No, you I did. said I, even I, if I, I take this test and pass it, you're still gonna believe that I lied to you. I believe I ain't gonna believe a thing that come out your mouth. That's what I but said. But I should believe stuff that comes out of your mouth. You're right. we're here because you think I lied to you, but yes, what about yes. that you lied to me about? I didn't lie to you about nothing. It's <laughs> as simple as 
producing your medical papers, right? And that's because all I asked for. When I was going to give them to him, he was like, well, they're probably fake anyways. So why am I going to no. waste my time? You did say that. Let me tell you something. And there's, you let was, your family was, in every, there's twice. Whatever, twice that you whatever. were going to go to the doctor. But did, did my producers ask for the medical papers? They didn't I, ask me to show my them. But producer, you know what, hold, hold on a second. My producers. <laughs> they asked me if I had them. They didn't ask me to bring them. <laughs> really? Yeah. So I'm going to have to I'm go over to believe, there. I'm, I'm supposed to believe what's coming out this damn bureau of mouth. Get the hell out of here. Are, you, uh, are your tubes tied? I did have a tube, but they just used rubber bands. Like, they didn't cut them or burn them or anything. So and the doctor to told me. Them? No, the doctor told me that when I had it, like, there was a chance after two to four years that I could get pregnant. Okay. And so you were seven months pregnant. I was six and a half. Six and a half months pregnant. We did ask you hey. that you knew you were coming to take a lot of tests, yeah. right? Okay, let's go out and read the results. I'm not going back out there with him. No, she's not gonna go out here because she don't want to look like a fool. I'm not. Do you want to come out? No. DJ came here, and she refused to take the test <laughs> of three separate times. Of course. <laughs> she refused to take the test three times. Because there's no times. point. What, what if there is a point? That that, we told you so. you were coming here to take a lie detector test. But the it wasn't going to make a difference. So what was the point? Okay. So I didn't waste it all my time okay. coming up here. I mean, I mean. Wasted your time. Wasted, wasted, wasted my time. producer's time. Wasted our money because we tried to get people uh, uh, answers. Uh, <laughs> Truth, justice. And I still and ain't got no damn ass. You came here knowing that you were going to take a lie detector test. You f***ed all my producers. You've done nothing but waste our time. Okay. And you can get your ass off okay. my stage. <laughs> um, so you're with a person that is very deceitful, that will lie about losing a human life to yes. keep you. Yes. And you're still sleeping with her. Let me say something. No more. You better be careful. No more. Oh, I'm gonna oh. do it again. Oh, she, she she's might out of my life. She's completely out of my life. I don't. I can't believe <laughs> she say. Keep the crazy away, man. I'm in, man. Keep the crazy away. I'm, Good luck, you man. I'm, Fred is back today to let us know whether or not DJ ever admitted to faking her pregnancy. Um, Fred, when you when you watch that clip, well, what runs through your mind? I can't believe that I, we had to go through all that. And she, I can't believe that she's, that she's still not admitting it. She never said, yeah, I admit, I, I never really was pregnant. No, no, she, she still holds to it. Something happened to you after the show when you went home, right? Yeah, um, while I was on the show, um, someone seen me on the show and recognized me and told me that I uh, might have a child, that they might have a child by me, so. So, here a woman's lying about being pregnant with you, but there's another woman that's actually pregnant by you, has your child, and you had no idea. Right. And what's going on? And met, met, met my daughter, got DNA test, found out she was really mine, and she's the joy of my life. I've actually watched her grow up on Facebook and everything, but not knowing that it was mine. <laughs> so, wow. what? And, and, uh, do you feel bitter about that, or, or are you just happy that she's in your life? I'm just more than I'm just more happy that she's in my life now. I work three jobs, and I I, I love taking care of my girls. <laughs> well, that's good. Fred, would you have any advice to give to a woman that's thinking about faking a pregnancy to save the relationship? Um, it's not worth it because, I mean, you put a lot of pain on that person and, and that person's family. I mean, I, I wouldn't wish that on nobody, and it's really not worth it. No. Well, it's I, not worth, it's I, not worth the, hard, the hurt and pain. <laughs> Well, you know, Fred, I, I think you dodged a bullet, but, uh, you know, it's a good ending. You, you got a daughter out of it, and uh, it seems like that's going really well. So we're really happy things worked out for you, Fred. It was nice seeing you again. Oh, nice seeing you all, too. Anthony's ex, Jennifer, claims to have given birth to his daughter. But Anthony's new girlfriend, Brittany, thinks that's a lie. 
that there is no baby and that Jennifer was never pregnant. Anthony has his doubts and needs to know the truth about the baby. I eventually ended up miscarrying because I stressed so much about her. I miscarried in December. You, you miscarried because you stressed about this about other girl? About her. She constantly came by our house. She would pretend to throw up in the bathroom, try to gag herself. He doesn't believe her either because, like I was saying, on Thanksgiving, she then pursued to tell us that it was not a boy, it's a girl. She changed the baby sex. Why would you tell Anthony you had a little boy when, in fact, you had a little girl? Because he wanted a little boy. He said he didn't want a little girl. So with me being the first to have his child, I told him I had a boy. Why has Anthony never seen the baby? Why? Because... I mean, with him knowing it's his baby. Because <laughs> I hadn't showed it to him. Yeah, but this is a human being brought into the world. I mean, what right do you have to deny the father to see his child? I don't know what the hell that is. These are her ultrasound pictures. <laughs> like a pumpkin at Halloween. <laughs> these, you didn't bring these and think like this is evidence, did you? Do you believe that she had your baby? No. And okay. she's changing her story whether the child is a boy, whether it's a girl. Mm -hmm. She lied, she lied. She said it was a boy. Does she but the lie only a lot? She, yes, she does lie. Faithfully, she lies. I'm, I'm her best friend, I ain't gonna lie for her. She did lie. She lied about a lot of stuff. She lied about a due date. She lied about it being a boy or a girl. She lied about the name. She lied about the weight, the height, everything. Did does... she lie about the birthday being the same as Anthony's? No, the, the birthday is June 4th, I do know that. The baby's six months old. Now, how My... do you know it's June 4th? Because I've been taking care of this baby and I take it to get a shot, so how am I not gonna know when the baby's birthday is? Okay, I got a question. You say it's not my business. Come out here, John. Come out here, John. Come out here. Screaming at the guy for not taking care of his baby. How can he take care of something he's never seen? You were asked, were you ever pregnant with Anthony's baby? You answered yes. Did you give birth to Anthony's baby on June 4th, 2011? You answered yes. You did not tell the truth. I got a baby. I want to know whose baby that I have. Okay. Because she brought me a baby when it was a baby right. like this. All right. So, so she done stole the baby. She done get something because I got a baby. A lot of people come to the show and they don't, they think the only time we're taping them is when the show's on, when the cameras are on stage. And we have something we want to play for you. Why is this done to me? Why is what? You say I don't have a kid. It's a, why are they doing this to me? Like I don't have a kid. I do have a kid. Yeah, that you really are gonna continue the lie? I ain't lying. Five years ago, Sean was desperate to find out if his girlfriend Cheyenne not only lied about being pregnant, but also lied about miscarrying the baby. Here's a clip. I'm here to find out if my fiance is lying to me about having a miscarriage. In December 2013, she comes to me. She tells me I'm pregnant. All right, I'm on cloud nine, man. And so you're happy when yeah, she tells you that super she's... super happy. You know, about a month later, she calls me up, tells me she's having a miscarriage. Well, first thing I tell her is go to the doctor. She uh, says, no, I'm not going to go to the doctor. I'm just going to wait out and see what happens. So I go home. Well, on my way home, my phone's just blowing up. So I wait until I get home. I check my phone, and I got all these pictures. And they're just gory, gory pictures of, like, where she's supposed to have a miscarriage. You know, and then she sends me the third one, and it's her palm, it's supposed to be the palm of her hand with a little fetus laying in her hand. Yeah. And I was like, what? So I, admit, I immediately get emotional. You know, and start crying, you know, and I, I went. But she didn't go to the hospital. No, uh uh. And then she comes up the next day, she tells me she went to the hospital. So I ask her for the proof. I'm like, where's the proof? You know, you went to the hospital, they'll give you proof. She couldn't give me no proof. And then, exactly a day before the year anniversary of all this, supposedly she thinks she's having a miscarriage. So she Googles what does a miscarriage look like on Google. The first picture it pops up is the picture she sent me with that fetus in her hand. Boy, I tripped. Now, if she fails this lie detector test, the relationship's over or... Oh, it's so over. It's, it's over. over. I have the medical papers at my house. Why didn't you bring them then? Because Why they're sealed up because I was going to mail them to you. Whatever, man, whatever. No, whatever, yo. That, you you asked to the mail birds. them to you. You okay. asked well, you, me to okay, mail them to you. Okay, you knew it was coming up here. Why didn't you just bring that little mail package because with you? Because I almost didn't make it, remember? 
Okay. Yeah, almost. Um, did you fake your pregnancy? No. So you were you were pregnant. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes, sir. Um, and then you had a miscarriage. Yes, sir. At home. Mm -hmm. And what did you do? I called my doctor and she said, "Are you sure you're having a miscarriage?" I said, "Yeah, I think so." And she said, "What do you want to do?" And I said, "You tell me. You're the doctor." The doctor said, "What yeah, do you, you want to do?" Well, hold on, hold on a second. You call the doctor and you say, "I think I'm having a miscarriage," and the doctor said, "Well, what do you want to do?" She had, she told me to make sure it was real. I passed this little blood clot, and then you could tell that there was something in it. So you scooped it up and you put it in a box. Mm -hmm. I wrapped it up in one of my t-shirts, put a picture of me and Sean in there, and a seashell from when we went to the ocean. And you put it in a box, mm -hmm. and you didn't know, you didn't think to notify like uh, the county or the hospital that you had a miscarriage. I didn't know that you. I mean, I went you to the doctor. Want, you didn't want to get physically inspected by a doctor. I did. At the end? I did. And what did they say? I got the paperwork at home, and it were the little at diagnosis. Home, it here. At home, it ain't here. How do you explain that the pictures that you provided him were the exact same pictures that we found on the internet, we found on the internet, the exact same pictures you provided, when you Google it, those are the first pictures that pop up. The picture of the blood clot that they sent me is not the same one that I sent them. Tell another lie. I'm not now lying you're standing to you. Telling him a I'm lie. not lying, you're lying to you, to this man. No, I'm Come not. Man, you, you, no, you bluffing. No. You bluffing. No, I'm not. You bluffing. We gave you a lie detector test and we asked you, are you lying that you miscarried the child in January of 2014? And you answered no. Were those photographs of the miscarriage from the internet? And you said no. And the results came back the same to each question and they came back that you did not tell the truth. See, I told you, you lying bitch. Love you, love you, love you, love you. What I don't understand is why live with such a big lie for so long and this lie buys you nothing. I mean. Because I'm not lying. Well, you could say, you know what? I'm young and I'm dumb and I made a foolish mistake and I, and I, I love you and I want to hold on to you. You could say these things, but to continually to lie, to be so outrageous with your lies, how can any man Hope to have a normal relationship with you. You can't. And I agree, you can't. And I, I've even told him that if he wanted me to go get professional help or whatever, I would, but he got he I couldn't, but, but but okay, he you couldn't give up it. on me. And what is he doing? Yeah, giving I'm up giving up on Because you okay. lied to me. But what I'm saying is not once, if you not right twice. now hold on, hold on. And yes, agree sir. with yes, you sir. agree. You tell me if I'm wrong at any point. Okay. If you would admit right now, say, you know what? I'm wrong. I got caught up in this lie. I'm sorry. These results are true, and I'm going to get help. You'd be willing to work on a relationship nope. with her? Not at all. Not at all. Not at all. It's done. Over with. I'm not a baseball player. I don't do three strikes. That's the second one. It's done. Sean left my stage certain that he would never give Cheyenne another chance. And today, she's back to tell us what's been going on since the show. Uh, Cheyenne, that was brutal to watch your, your relationship crumble like that. How hard is it for you to watch that episode? Um, well, it's pretty terrible. Um, I, it's something that I put in the past and we don't really talk about it and, you know, it's in the past. Did Sean keep his word and not give you another chance? Uh, yeah, well, you know, we broke up and it, for years he'd have his friends check in on me and that made me feel like he he didn't, he didn't care, but he cared. Yeah. Why did you lie to Sean about being pregnant? Man, I, I don't know. I was young and dumb, and it was, I, honestly, I, I can't give you a, a, an answer. But, but you, I mean, you went dumb. to the Mets on keeping that one lie going. I mean, you would just, you would not give it up on the show. I mean, that is really commitment to a lie. Yeah, and I, I mean, honestly, haven't, haven't lied about anything like that since then, anything you know, a white lie here or there. Maybe, yeah, but, but you don't lie like about that. serious topics like being pregnant no. and having miscarriages. No. How have you been since that show? Have you been good? Oh, um, yeah, I've been great. Um, just working every day, living my life, trying to be a good person. And you regret lying about the pregnancy? Oh, absolutely. Have you spoken to Sean since he broke up with you? Well, um, yep. 
Oh, what yes, the? Sir. What the hell? Are you back together with her? Oh yeah, we're we're back together, and we got something to show you that we got, like for sure. <laughs> Look. <laughs> Say hi. <laughs> Cheyenne, how the hell did this happen? Well, um, honestly, he wouldn't leave me alone. <laughs> if I'm being honest, he he kept calling me and texting me and wanted to meet up. And uh, I had my buddies looking for you. Yeah, you know? and eventually uh, I gave in and we met up and we we hashed things out and here we are. So here's the million dollar question, Sean. When she tells you she's pregnant with this little girl, what did you think? Oh, I immediately asked for proof. <laughs> and she, like, just because what we've been through, you know? And uh, she she showed me with, like, without objection, she showed me. And uh, we've been going strong since then, really. Now, Sean, I understand you've been battling some health issues, right? Yeah, man, like... I, I was recently diagnosed with Meniere's syndrome. Um, if you can tell, like I can't make eye contact. I talk a little different. Yeah, you know? I see. And, so, is the, and are you doing okay with that? I mean, I just handle it the best I can, you know, like with the help of a good woman and all for sure, like with her and I live for my baby, you know. And every day I tell them I'm going to get better. Now, I, well, first of all, I got to say I, I'm absolutely shocked. I, I never thought. I mean, because, again, the commitment to the lie. Well, I knew I loved her, but I wanted to find out where her, her heart lied. And once I found out, out where her heart was, you know, I, I kind of like knew my heart was still there and just went forward with it. All right, well, listen, I'm glad that you finally gave up that lie and see what happens. You gave up the lie, you moved on, you got the guy, you got the little girl. Life is, is blessed for you, right? Yes, sir. All right, well, good luck to both of you. Uh, I hope you're doing well there, Sean. I hope uh, you get, uh, you know, you become a little healthier with that. And it's great to thank see you guys. You. Best of all luck. I called you, Steve, for help because I watch your show all the time. Somebody's gonna watch this and say, you know what? She was brave enough to do that. I can do that too.